My fellow Americans, I want to take a moment to address some of the hateful shit you've been talking about me. Many of you have said I am suffering from brain worms or that I have applesauce for brains. Well, I won't miss words, so here it is. Fuck you. You're all a bunch of faggots. End of quote. Repeat the line. So enjoy President Cackles or President Booty Juice. I really don't give two fucks anymore. Biden out. A few moments ago. What, what is this? What am I reading right here? Hello, my fellow Americans. Over the past three and a half years, we have made great progress as a nation. Today, America is the strongest economy in the world. We made historic investments in rebuilding our nation, in lowering prescription drug costs for seniors, and expanding affordable health care to a number record of Americans. We provided critical need care to a million veterans exposed to toxic substance, passed the first safety gun law in 30 years, appointed the first African-American woman to the Supreme Court, and passed the most significant climate legislation in the history of the world. I couldn't keep that thing going. I apologize. America has never uh, been in a p better position to lead the world than we are today. Are, are we just sniffing? This just feels like a whole bunch of copium. I, I, I don't know how true some of this is. The past first gun safety. I thought we passed gun laws in, within 30 years. Could be wrong on that, but America has never been in a better position to lead than where we are today. That does not seem... I don't agree with the statement. That's all I gotta say. I know none of this could have been done without you, the American people. Together we overcame a uh, once a century pandemic, a once in a century pandemic, and the worst economy crisis, the Great Depression. We protected and preserved our democracy and revitalized and strengthened our alliances around the world. Why are we? Oh, worst economic crisis since the Great Depression. God, I just forgot since. It has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president, and whilst. While it has been the intention to seek re-election, I believe my, it is the best intention of my party and for the country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as a president for the remainder of my term. Whoa, I will speak to the nation later this week in, my de uh, in more detail of my decision. For now, let me express my deepest gratitude to those who have worked so hard to see me re-elected. I thank Vice President Kamala Harris for being re uh, an extraordinary partner in all of this. Please let me express my heartfelt appreciation for the American people, for the faith and trust you have placed in me. I believe today that what I always have, that there is nothing America can't do. When we do it together, we just have to remember we are the United States of America, Joe Biden. Wow. Okay. So it's official. He is saying he is he's going to be stepping down from the re-election race. Wow. Follow up on this. Apparently, we know it, 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 earlier in the stream it was announced that Biden was stepping down, and now he has some words for us. So let's hear Americans. this. My fellow Americans, I want to take a moment to address some of the hateful shit you've been talking about me. <laughs> Many of you have said I am suffering from brain worms or that I have applesauce for brains. Well, I won't miss words, so here it is. Fuck you. You're all a bunch of faggots. End of quote. Repeat the line. So enjoy President Cackles or President Booty Juice. I really don't give two fucks anymore. Biden out. Okay. Okay, I swear to God. That's not what... That, that's not... That's not... That's not... That's not it. That's not it. Hold on. This is what was actually said. <clears throat> You know, hello, my fair, hello, my fellow Americans. Uh, over the past three years, we've been we made a great progress as a nation. It has been my greatest honor in my life to serve as the president. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is best for the interest of my party and country for me to stand down and focus solely on fulfilling my duties as the president for the remainder of the term. I will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about my decision. Now, I have seen Americans. Nope. I want to take I, a moment. We're not gonna listen to that again. I have seen a uh, a video just like that going around of him. So I want to I want to actually listen to the real one. This this can't be the real. My fellow Americans. Nope. This is that same one. My fellow Americans. There it is. I want to take a moment to address some of the hateful shit you've been talking about me. Jesus Christ. Many of you Christ. have said I am suffering. 
I guess the video that I saw was just that. And, and in fact, is not <clears throat> all of this. God, that was. <laughs> that was. That's comedy. That is comedy. But I hope for the love of God, if, uh. Wait. My fellow Democrats, I have decided not to accept the nomination and to focus all my energies on the duties as president for the remainder of my term. My very first decision as party nominee in 2020 was to pick Kamal Harris as my vice president. That's the best decision I've made. Jesus Christ, if you think that's the best decision you made, we need to re rethink. You know, like we need. What is best decision? I think we need to agree that that, that is not actually the best decision. I mean, it's not April Fool's Day. Today I want to offer my full support and endorsement of Kamala to be the nominee of our party this year. It's time to come together to beat Trump. Let's do this. Okay. <clears throat> so this is, my, this is my biggest issue with this. Are you trying to beat fucking Trump? Or are you trying to make America great? And I don't want to take Trump's thing, but like at the end of the day, you want more winners in your society, right? So is, is, go, is making more winners... <clears throat> In society, a focus. If you're saying it's time to come together and beat Trump, like I think your priorities are a little screwed. Like, you see this face? Does this face give you the inspire confidence? It's not for me. <laughs>